my channel. Our most essential learning competency for today is illustrate the mean and variance of a discrete random variable. We know what a mean is. How do we get the mean? We just get the average. We add all the addends and of course divide it by the number of addends. What about if we are getting the mean and the variance of a discrete Random Example variable. one, find the average number of apples sold in any five grocery stores as indicated by the figure below. How far X is spread out from the mean? As you can see in the diagram, this one is from 0 to 20. If we we'll look at this, this one is the average and that is 11 between 10 and 12. But how can we prove that this really is 11? The average is really 11. So, as I have said, in getting the average, you just add all the add-ins and, of course, divide it by the number of add-ins. It says here, five grocery stores, therefore, there are five add-ins. So, we'll add everything. That one is 55 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 11. But how are we going to get the mean, of course, of a discrete random variable? So, remember that we need to construct a probability distribution like this. Now, this one is a 3 here. How many times does it appear? That is 1. So that is 1 over 5. Same with 9, 11, 13. And of course, we have 19. Okay. So if we'll add everything, that will be equal to 5 over 5 or that is equal to 1. For us to be able to say that this is a probability distribution, of course, we need to add this and the sum should be equal to 1. It's really equal to 1 because this one is 5 over 5. Okay. Now, the next step is to multiply the 2. Let us multiply the 2, meaning x times P of x. Let us now multiply the x by p of x. What do we mean by that? We will be multiplying the random variable by the probability of the random variable. So in multiplying, of course, we just multiply the numerator. This one is 3 over 5. Remember that this one is over 1. That's why it's 3 over 5. This one is 9 over 5. This one is 11 over 5. This is 13 over 5. And this one is 19 over 5. Okay. So if we'll get the sum of this, this one is the summation of, of course, x times p of x. We get the sum. 3 plus 9 is 12, plus 11 is 23, plus 13 is, of course, 36. And plus 19, we have 55 over 5. So meaning... The average or the mean is also 11. Okay. So we have proven that the mean and the average, the usual mean, is the same as the mean, of course, of the discrete random variable. Now, how are we going to get the so-called variance? It says here how far x is spread out from the mean. Meaning to say when we talk of variance, we are talking about the spread of the set of numbers from the mean. It is dispersed. How are we going to get it? So we square the x, the random variable, that is 9. This one is 81. This one is 121, this is 169, and 19 is squared is, of course, 361. You just square it. 3 squared, 3 times 3, 9 times 9, 11, and so on and so forth. And then our P of X is, of course, 1 over 5, 1 over 5, 1 over 5, 1 over 5, 1 over 5. So we multiply the 2, X squared times P of X, that is 9 over 5. This is 81 over 5. This is 121 over 5. This is 169 over 5. And this is 361 over 5. Now, 
the sum of this, this one, it's x squared, summation of x squared times p of x, will be equal now to, you add all the numerators and then copy the denominator since this one is, of course, a similar addition of similar fractions. So, we will be getting here 741. Okay, 741 over 5. This one is, of course, summation of x squared times p of x. How are we going to get the variance? To get the variance, you just subtract this by this one, the square of 11. So this one is, again, the mean. And this one is, of course, the variance of the discrete probability random variable rather so this is the variance we have 741 over 5 minus 11 squared you will be getting here using your calculator you will be getting there 27.2 so how are you going to press this press 741 divided by 5 minus 11 squared 11 squared is 121 so you will be getting 27 points. Example number two. The following are the scores of nine students in a 15 item test. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 3, 6, 3, 3. Construct a discrete probability distribution. Draw its histogram and find the mean and variance of the given random variable. Okay. So we have here three. I will be writing it from, of course, the least to highest. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. Okay, how many times does a 3 appear? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is 4. How many numbers do we have? We have 9. So that is 4 over 9. Remember that this one is, of course, the number of possible outcomes. And this one is, of course, the number of outcome itself so we have six how many times does it appear that is two over nine and then number nine we have one twelve we have one and fifteen we have one okay let us verify whether this one is really equal to one four plus two is six seven eight nine so this one is 9 over 9. That's correct. Let us multiply now the 2 to get the mean. We have 12 over 9. We have 12 over 9. We have 9 over 9. 12 over 9. And we have 15 over 9. Okay, so adding all, we have x times p e of x. So this one is equal to 12, 12, 12, 36. 36 plus 24. 36 plus 24, you will be getting there 60. So that is 60 over 9. This one is already your mean. To get the variance, of course, we need to complete this table. X squared is 9. This is 36. This is 81. This is 1 for 4, and this one is 225. Okay, so now, what is our P of X? This one, 4 over 9. This is 2 over 9. This one is 1 over 9. 1 over 9, and 1 over 9. Multiply, we have 36 over 9, 72 over 9, 81 over 9. 144 over 9 and 225 over 9. So we get the sum of this. This one is summation of x squared times p of x. We just add all the numerators and then of course copy the denominator 9. You will be getting there 558. Okay. To get the variance, you just subtract it by, of course... The square of the mean. And this one is already your variance. Variance is equal to 60 over 9. 60 over 9 squared 
you just press this 558 divided by 9 minus open parenthesis 60 over 9 close squared you will be getting there 17.55 so this one is your variable how are we going to construct the histogram of this discrete random variable here's how you have to make of course a diagram like this this one is zero this one is the random variable and this one is the probability of the random variable that is the vertical one or the y and this one is the x the of course random variable so we have here 3 6 9 12 15 this one i divided it into nine that is the number of possible outcomes we have one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so now our three here is four over nine this is one two three four so until here this one okay and then we have six two over nine so until here okay and then we have what nine one over nine so it's here and then we have 12 that is also one over nine okay and of course 15 that is also one over nine that's how you draw it histogram this one is four over nine this is, of course, 2 over 9. This is 1 over 9, 1 over 9, and 1 over 9.